Let's talk about 10 ways to be smart as a whip to supersize and grow your business. Sharon Harnelson here. This is as much as a whip as I could muster up these days. My my horse riding days, horseback riding days are long, long gone. Long, long gone. Decades gone. But that's the only time we ever used a little, a little riding crop whip. And I don't happen to have any of those anymore. Imagine that. So this idiom has been around for a very long time since people traveled by horseback and in horse-drawn carriages and things. So hundreds of years, uh, it appeared and showed up in Ohio in 1821 in writing for uh, probably the first time, or at least the first trackable documented time it was used. And it means, of course, that you're very, very smart, very intelligent, and um, quick to think of responses, quick as a snap to come up with things because you are Smart and snappy, right? Smart as a whip means that you're smart and snappy, intelligent, and quick to respond to things. Well, we want to be those things for our business when we're growing and building and supersizing it as appropriate, right? Sometimes we make changes and implement things slowly. Other times we want to be quick and first to market, etc. So I found a list of pretty good ideas of how we can grow our business the smart way. We're talking about smart goals, S-M-A-R-T, specific, measurable achievable, relevant, and time-bound as part of this year's annual challenge. Get up and go annual challenge day 329 today already. Winding up another year. And we're taking a goal that we've set for ourselves in, in an area of our life and we are applying the SMART framework to it. It's just step two of our seven-step process, our goal getting process this year. So what are some of these ways, 10 ways plus, that you can grow and build and supersize your business the SMART way? We always want to do things the smart way and the easy way instead of the hard way and the mistakes and challenging way. So some of the ways we do that are by number one, doing your research, right? Research your market, research the people you want to serve, research your customers. What do they need? What do they want? How can you provide it to them, etc. cetera? Uh, keep your promises. I love this one. Do what you say you're going to do. Under promise and over deliver. I'm going to add that one. That's one of my personal favorites. Build a sales funnel or build a mechanism for people to find you I'm going to say right out, have an online presence of some sort, even if it's a social media presence only, but you really need a website or a funnel, et cetera, to get people access to your information. People do a lot more of their own research nowadays than they did when I was first starting out in business because there was no internet, but now there is. So people, by the time they actually show up at your business, if you have a physical location or at your website, they've probably done quite a bit of research and they're more apt to buy if you set your website and your sales funnels up right. Uh, increased customer retention. We always want to be looking for lifelong customers. And if you don't know the lifelong value of your customers, that's something you should start figuring out. We want to uh, create a organization that is socially responsible. And you get to define what that is for you because it's going to be different for each and every one of us. Uh, we want to form strategic partnerships. Strategic partnerships are one of the fastest ways to grow and build and supersize our businesses. We want to prioritize customer service. I am amazed at the appalling customer service that some of the most successful companies, or actually just the richest, I don't know how successful they are uh, when it comes to overarching uh, people love them. I guess a lot of businesses don't care if people love them. It's just about the money. Uh, but we need to really go back to the days of, of customer service, meaning understanding the customer experience and making sure that we're giving them an experience that feels good to them so that they become lifelong customers. So they want to come back and do business with us. Not like the utilities where you're forced to, to use whoever is in your local area and whatever municipality has been sold on the contract, et cetera. Uh, obviously had some customer service challenges this year. Uh, use a customer relationship management system or software or something. Have Even if it's three by five cards, have some way of keeping track of your customers. Uh, create customer loyalty program. I'm a big believer in rewarding your best customers, right? I, I get frustrated with companies that are always churning and burning and getting new people. And then the people that have been with them, I had this experience with T-Mobile when I finally left them. I'd been with them 12 years and... I couldn't get a better deal on cell phones for my businesses because I'd been with them for 12 years. Just half backwards, you know what backwards, 
of how I think it should be. Treat the people that have been with you the longest, the best, not the worst. And don't always be thinking that the new people are going to stay with you because over time things change. New competitors enter the market, etc. cetera. Uh, so I am a firm believer in customer loyalty programs. If you're interested in that, hit me up because we could talk about that probably for a couple of weeks. Oops. All right. Lost my list. Uh, I lost track of what number we're on to. I didn't really count. Um, can't read my writing. That's okay. Oh, employ and use social media, create your a brand. Uh, that speaks to your customer and that is truly who your organized or what your organization stands for and how they're serving the people that you're here to serve. Attend networking events, be involved in your community. I could make, I could go on and on about these things, but that's enough. Build your business the smart way. Do things that create the image and get the results and serve the people that you want to serve. That's how you build and grow and supersize your business the smart way. Love to know how you do that. Share in the comments below. And I will, of course, be with you tomorrow with another interesting idiom. What does it mean? Where does it come from? And how might you use it to supersize and grow your business? Have a great day.